let's talk about classic press. And actually, I don't need these on because I shouldn't need to hear anything. Um, all right, let's uh, let's dive into classic press. It's it's been I've been wanting to look at this for a little while. And the short of what is classic press? Well, it is a fork of WordPress from version 4.9 that does not include Gutenberg. Gutenberg came out. Actually, it came out before version 5.0, but it wasn't baked into WordPress. And so basically what they've done, they've taken the most um, the most recent version that doesn't include Gutenberg and forked it. And I went ahead and I have set up a hosting environment uh, for this at classic.aaronryman.com. And not that I'm classic, uh, actually a lot of gray hair, so maybe, maybe I'm, I'm getting there. Um, but, uh, anyway, I've got, I've got basically a, a fresh install. I'm going to clear here. Um, this is about the third or fourth time I've recorded this video and I keep getting this flicker in there and I'm just going to go with it cause I'm tired of redoing this, uh, this page. Um, I'm going to do a remove force recursive everything in here. All right. So basically what we have is if you go to classic.aaronryman.com, which I will delete after this um, because you don't need to access it. Um, so I'll, I'll delete it when we're done. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just walk you guys through installing it and checking out, and I'll show you the difference between Classic Press and WordPress. And this, uh, if you scroll down just a little bit on here, it says Improved Security. Um, and it says Classic Press has a security first approach, which is kind of interesting, less bloat. So they're, I'm assuming they're just assuming that um, Gutenberg shouldn't be included in core, which I, I agree. I think Gutenberg should be a, its own product. Um, I mean, that, that automatic can, can do whatever they want with it, but I think core should have that they, to me, WordPress should be a, a CMS. And if you want a page builder, then that should be optional. But they decided they disagree with me, um, which is totally fine. Um, but um, so now we have Gutenberg baked into WordPress as of version 5.0. And we're, we're talking that's it's been this way for like three years now. We've got uh, we're at version WordPress 6.1. So we've had 11 plus releases uh, with Gutenberg baked in. Um, and I mean, it, it works. I'm not using it yet. Um, I can't. It's not at the point in my humble opinion. Um, it's not at a point where I can hand it over to a client and a client be happy um, with the experience. Uh, I think that's a different story. If you offer them Beaver Builder, um, they hate the name of it, um, of Beaver Builder, but once they start using Beaver Builder, it's so easy and so simple. Um, you know, it, it's a, it's a good page builder, um, from my, my, my perspective. Anyway, um, but Classic Press doesn't um, doesn't include a page builder. It just includes Tiny MCE. Uh, and if you go over here to Resources and you go to Get Classic Press, we can go over here. Um, this is actually kind of interesting because they on the previous page it said that they're a security first company, uh, but PHP eight is not supported as of yet and PHP 7.4 and older are no longer getting updates. Uh, so that to me, that's kind of a, a small, that's probably a growing pain issue within Classic Press themselves. Um, they're, I'm sure they're going to get that fixed with version uh, 8 eventually, maybe in the next version of Classic Press. So we shall, we shall see. Um, but let's do this. Let's get it. Um, so I'm going to copy the link. We're going to download it. I'm going to go... Hmm, interesting. Copy link at copy link address. So I'm going to go over here. Um, I'm SSH'd into the server, so I have no files in here. If I do a wget and paste the link, boom, there is. We just got Classic Press, um, and we will do a uh, unzip latest. And, okay, you go into the classic directory. 
this is interesting because you do you uh you list the files here, do an ls, and this looks identical to a WordPress um, install. Um, I understand everything's gonna you can't just do a search and replace for WP everywhere. Um, but uh, that's kind of interesting. I'm going to move all these files, dot, dot. I'm going to move it down one directory so it'll be in the root of the, the web server here. Um, and I will remove, force recursively, the classic directory, LSLA. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove, I guess, the latest uh, latest file too because I don't need, need that. Um, all right, so I should be able to go to the site and refresh. Um, now, I had it installed brief, uh, briefly there. So, okay. So now we're, we're back. Ooh, I hit my mic. My bad. All right. So, classic press logo. Select your language. Uh, I'm not going to use anything but English. And we're going to change this to classic. Classic. The database password. I put that in here. Uh... So that's my MySQL. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to call this um, Aaron. Sure, why not? And I'm prefixing it with Aaron. I never would normally do that. I'd prefix it with WP or CP or, or something like that. In this case, I'm just doing it because I'm going to delete this anyway. I'm going to hit continue, and in theory, this will run the install. It did. It connected to the database, so everything's good there. We're going to call this Classic Press. Never set your password to um, admin. Uh, I'll do Classic, um, and actually I'll copy this password. Copy. And I'm going to set the password to this. Since I'm deleting this, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to hit Install Classic Press. Let me make sure I copied that properly. I don't want to have to redo this. All right, so I'm going to hit Copy. I'm going to hit Install. Boom. All right, username is Classic. Password is that. OK. I was worried for a second there. I was like, oh no, I gotta start over again. Uh all right. So so in here there's there's only two things I see that are that are different. There is um classic press news here, and this is this is promising right here. Help test PHP eight compatibility in version uh one point five point oh. So we're at one point four point four. Uh so the next version is gonna be compatible. That's yay, good for them. Um, and then I'm going to jump over here to security just to show you this because that, that's different than your, your default WordPress. And basically what they say in here, security is important, et cetera, et cetera, and there is going to be a security page. And if you've in, and it says right here, if you've installed a plugin that is security related and the settings page for that does not show up here in security. You know, like if it shows up under tools or under settings, uh, contact the author, let them know, hey, in Classic Press, we want all security stuff to be on this page. So, and then let's look at for developers. So, for developers, the security page is the first step. Most plugins are organized, British spelling. Uh, around their core purpose. Okay, so it just tells us how how to do stuff. Uh, kind of interesting. All right, let's just dive in, go back, uh, and look at Classic Press. And let's go to the home page real quick, just so you can see what that looks like. This looks like 2017, uh, the theme 2017. Uh, it's identical. Uh, so actually, we'll go over to appearance real quick. We'll go to themes. All right, so Classic Press 2017. Oh, this is a child theme of 2017. Uh, so that's simple enough. And, and that makes sense that 2017, 2016, all those things are all compatible with Classic Press because Classic is 4.9. 
Um, so anything that worked in 4.9 should work in classic press. Um, so really, I mean, if you were bent on getting using classic press, you could just use a bunch of plugins from three years ago. Um, that'd be a big security risk, uh, but I guess you could do that. Um, but let's let's just look at classic press. We go to post. We're going to go into the post, and I'm sure we'll see classic um, the tiny MCE editor in here, and we do, and you can edit it. Um, so tiny MCE, we could bold things, italicize things, and it should put the tags in there, and it does. So that's your post. Categories and tags are all the same. Media library is the same. Pages, I mean, everything in here, it just looks like WordPress from, I guess, before Gutenberg. Um, so, I mean, I'd be happy with this if it worked with, with Beaver Builder and, and the other plugins that I, I use. Um, comments are the same. Plugins is a little different. We can do a uh, add WP plugin. So apparently they don't have a um, they don't have a what do you call it the j library basically of all the plugins. So they're they're hooking into the WordPress repository and all these things say that's not supported on Classic Press. This doesn't work on Classic Press. Classic Editor doesn't matter if it works on Classic Press because that's what it's based on. So that's kind of weird. Um, all right, here's a, here's two plugins that work with it. I don't want to necessarily install uh, WordFence. Tempted, man, I'm really tempted. You know, what? let's do it. Let's install WordFence and see, see if it works on Classic Press. Activate. Now this is all WordFence stuff, so the security stuff should show up on the security page. Um, install an existing license. Get your, I don't want a license. Can I just X out of this? Kind of. WordFence installation is incomplete. If I go over to, okay, I bet you we don't see anything, yeah, nothing in here for WordFence, because it wasn't modified to work with, you must install a license. How do I get a license? Okay, I'm out. I just wanted to test it. Right, I'm going to go back to plugins and just deactivate that one. Uh, deactivate. But you can install some WordPress plugins in here. Um, like page duplicate or duplicate page. Advanced custom fields seems to work. That's kind of cool. Um, WP code. All right, so there are some plugins that'll that will still work on uh, Classic Press. So that's that's kind of cool. Um, all right, we're gonna look at users. Users are completely normal. I don't see anything in here that screams different. Um, settings page is the same. Of course, this says another great website powered by Classic Press. So that's pretty much the only in difference. I mean, it doesn't make it very usable for me, but it looks like a successful fork. Um, I'm going to switch themes, though. Let's go over here to Appearance, Themes, and let's change it to... Man, I wish they had a newer uh, newer version. To be honest, I never liked 2017. Um, 2015 was better. I am going to activate that. Ta-da! All right, and then... All right, cool. So, I mean, to be honest, if I logged into a Classic Press website... I probably wouldn't even notice that I'm doing something or I, I logged in. I, I would think I logged into WordPress. It would probably take me a minute to realize that we're using Classic Press, not WordPress itself. Um, so kind of interesting, kind of cool. Um, I wish them luck. Um, anytime, I mean, WordPress itself is a fork of, of something. Don't think that you know, someone created it all from scratch. There, there was a fork of uh, 
it was a cafe cafe log um version two or something um in 2003 so wordpress itself is a fork of something so it makes sense that someone would fork uh, Classic Press. Um, it's just not a good fit for me right now. Uh, if I were, if I didn't like Gutenberg and I didn't use a page builder, then maybe it would be a good fit for me. So anyway, hope you enjoy it.